What is up everybody, it's Zenny here, and today I'm coming out with a tutorial on how to get the electric bow in Derizon Draft. And just before we start here, I'd just like to point out that you are going to need the normal bow uh, for any of the upgrades, and if you don't know how to get that, just check out my other tutorial. So to first start off is you're going to need to come over to the death right here and shoot this weird pole thing on top of the building. And it'll spin a bunch, and you'll see something come out of the wall, and it'll be the broken arrowhead that you'll need to pick up to start the quest. And just right from there, don't, no cuts or anything, you just need to walk over to this area and shoot that beacon right there with the fire bow. Oh, no grip, you just wanted to pop out there. But yeah, as you can see, it's lit, so you can go on to the next one, which is by the first room. So you're just going to want to shoot like that. I don't know if I got it. Did I? Uh, yes, I did. Okay. Good luck. All right. Now the third one is down here by the rocket launch site. I just need to launch that. Okay. And uh, point it up there, just above the above the fire, and it'll light again. So all of them are lit. So now what you're gonna want to do is come down to the zero gravity chamber period period pyramid <laughs> place, and um, just run the wall and activate all these weird signals, like so. And it might take you a couple of tries, but once you do it, the top left corner, you'll see a little bit more of the quest has been completed. So then once you do that, you'll see these glowing orb things around the map where you first, around where you first uh, lit all the beacons. So you just kill zombies there and it fills up the orbs. So the second location is right over here by the first courtyard. You wanna Again, fill them up. It'll stop filling up once you see no orbs are gonna go. And the last one is down here by the rocket launch site in the little chamber. So this is the last one you're gonna need to charge up. And once you do that, you just hold it, your bow there and aim in on it and it activates an electric power shock. And you just wanna shoot the same beacons you did the first time with the electric charge and you'll see that cool spinning spiral thing go over it so you're gonna want to do this with all three of the beacons and all three of the charging port bottle things that you just filled with zombie souls or whatever they were so yeah as you can see just coming over here point on the top of the mountain works best and works first try so then the third one obviously right back over here and this one's probably the easiest one it's just right there and that's done so you can see a little bit more of the quest has been completed and this part you just need to go over to the death ray again shoot this top pole again and it'll spin and you just hold X on the blue cloud and it'll move magically I guess and it will come back after a while and oh got it fuck shit okay uh uh oh no Get, uh. Okay, okay, we're good, we're good, no worries, we're all good. Alright, as you can see right there, the arrowhead, or the full arrow, has came out, and you've completed the quest, but that's not all you have to do. You have to take it down to the arrow box, down by the pyramid chamber thing of zero gravity, and fill up the box with zombie souls when you put the arrow in. So, once you do that... You can't. Oh, okay. <laughs> Once you do that, you can just put your bow in there. Quite fast, you will see that your new bow will come out of the box looking hella fresh. So you're just gonna take that bow and um, let's see how it works. Come on, let's see what you got. Now that was that was a power shot, obviously, but that takes two rounds or two arrows, but. As you can see, it completely tears through them. Anybody or anything that um, that really comes around it just sort of gets shocked and put into a storm thing. So, yeah, hopefully this video was helpful for you guys. And uh, if you need any more tutorials, just let me know. And, yeah, I'll see you guys next time.